guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies leaked informational video. Today, all of the perks as well as some stuff in regards to the consumable system, the new gobble gum system for Black Ops 4 Zombies as well as some information regarding the specialist weapons have leaked for Black Ops 4 Zombies. So obviously, Black Ops 4's PC beta has just gone live the other day on PC and people have managed to go into the game files of the game and have found out a ton of secret information regarding zombies. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel and also turn on notifications so you never miss out on a future video here on the channel as we will be covering all the leaks here on the channel and also go ahead and drop a like on this video if you enjoy it by the end of it. So if you do not like leaks, if you do not like spoilers, I would suggest clicking off this video now. However, if you love leaks, keep on watching because this is some exciting stuff. So a guy known as Jerry Gaming posted over on the Call of Duty Zombies Reddit all the audio sounds for the main menu of Black Ops 4 Zombies. So if you guys are unaware, Black Ops 4 Zombies is going to be changed so that there's going to be two different menus. So there's going to be one for the Ether storyline with the old storyline with Classified, the Vive remake, as well as Blood of the Dead, the Mob of the Dead remake. However, there is going to be an entirely new menu, a separate menu, that is going to be for the Chaos Cruise storyline, the new cast of characters with Voyage of Despair, as well as Nine. So these these leaks are coming from the audio files of what happens when you select these things within the main menu. So the first thing that I'm going to go through are the perks. Now these are the code names, bear in mind. So they're not going to be the actual names of the perks that we have within the Chaos Cruise storyline. However, we do know that the perks are going to be changed within the Chaos storyline. So before we had perk machines, where instead we're going to have perk vapors that we're going to have to inhale. And Jason Blundell has said that you will actually be able to set which perks spawn in on the map. So there's well over 10 different perks that are available within Black Ops 4 Zombies for the Chaos storyline. However, you will be able to set a specific number of perks that spawn in on the map. So we are going to be having these statues of different gods on the map and you will be able to set which of these perks gives you which different perk. And this is going to completely change the way that Zombies plays out because you will be able to set which perks actually spawn in on the map. So you'll be able to create some really cool combinations. You will not be able to do this for the Aether storyline. This is only available for the Chaos storyline. Perks will be pretty much the same as normal. You will not be able to choose them, I don't believe, within the old storyline. I also want to say that because the perks have now changed from perk machines to perk vapors, a lot of them are still going to have the same effects as the old perks, but they're given the same code names as the old perks. So let's jump straight into it. So the first perk that is listed within the code is called Bandalier. Now, I don't know what perk this is because we've never seen it within Zombies before. However, there was a perk that was originally going to be within World at War Zombies called Bandalier, and this would actually allow you to have more ammunition. So this sounds really, really cool. A new perk that is going to be within Black Ops 4 Zombies. As I said, it will most likely give you more ammunition within your guns. We don't know what the perk will actually be called since this is just the code name. It could be called Bandalier. We don't really know. Now, there is another perk that is called Base. I have no idea what this is because this is just the co-name for the perk. Let me know some suggestions down in the comment section down below. There is another perk that is going to be Deadshot, so this is going to increase headshot damage. However, as I said, although it's got the same code name as Deadshot Daiquiri that we had within the Aether storyline, it will most likely be given a new name, but these are just going to be equivalent perks for the new storyline. The next perk that we have is D-Wish. I don't know what perk this is, but it sounds like Death Wish, possibly. So maybe what this could do is give you a potential thing when you die. Maybe it lets you keep certain things when you die. I don't really know. Let me know some ideas down in the comment section down below once again. The next perk we have is Electric Cherry. So that's going to be back for the Ether storyline. As I said, it will be given a new name and everything like that. However, so that obviously just allows you to have Electric come out of your gun when you reload, which stuns nearby zombies. There is also going to be Mule Kick returning, so that will allow you to carry an extra weapon. There's also a perk which codename is Percept. I don't know what that is to be honest. It's probably got something to do with perception, so it'll give you maybe a better idea of where the zombies are. I don't really know. Again, let me know some ideas and suggestions in the comment section. The next perk we have is Quick Revive. That's obviously returning, so Quick Revive is returning for the Chaos Crew storyline. Then we also have a perk which is codenamed Slider. So this perk could potentially be like Banana Collider, where you slide and it could leave a trail on the ground that damages the zombies, or what it could alternatively do is it could be PhD 
slider. So a lot of people have been wanting PhD Flopper to return, obviously because the Dolphin Dive has been removed. Potentially when you slide, it creates an explosive blast. And maybe this perk also allows you to not take fall damage, do not take explosive or splash damage too. Maybe that's what this perk does. Again, I need to reiterate all of these audio sounds I cannot play with in this video due to obvious copyright reasons. These are also not perk jingles. They are just the audio that will play when you select these perks within the main menu. As, as I said, you'll be able to designate which perks spawn in on the map within the Chaos Crew storyline. And also, all of these perks will have their equivalents within the old storyline, so the Ether storyline. So potentially these new perks that we are seeing within the Chaos Crew storyline, they might be available as equivalents within the old storyline too. And there could even be different perks within the Ether storyline that are not available within the Chaos storyline potentially. Now, the next perk that we have is Stamina Up. So this will just allow you to increase your sprint speed. Nothing too special about that. That's all fine and dandy. Now, the next perk is interesting because its code name is Stronghold. So I don't know what perk this could do, but it makes it seem like A, it could be something that potentially allows you to rebuild stronger barriers maybe, or it could allow you to create a block aid on the map that could block off certain areas. That's the kind of vibe I get from this name. Or potentially it could be some sort of armor perk that allows you to have more health. Because if you're unaware, from all of these leaked perks, there is no Juggernog. So I think Juggernog is going to be returning within the Ether storyline with Classified and Blood of the Dead, but I don't think there's going to be Juggernog within this new storyline. And potentially Stronghold could be a new version of Juggernog. I could be wrong on that one, I don't really know, but we do know from the new specialist, the Hammer Specialist, you see that it actually allows you to regain armor when you use this specialist. Now what this means is that maybe Juggernog could be replaced by armor and maybe this perk stronghold could be that armor possibly all this armor might not even be a perk it could be similar to world war 2 zombies however i hope they don't do it like world war 2 zombies if they do have armor instead of juggernog within the chaos crew storyline but i'm sure that track will do its good whatever they do but i don't think juggernog is returning within the traditional way within this new storyline i think we're going to have some sort of equivalent to juggernog now the next perk that we have is called time slip as i said these are just code names they're not the actual names but what i kind of get from this is it could be like the time bomb that we had on Buried. If you're unaware, you could place this on the ground and you would be able to rewind your game back in time. So maybe when you get this perk, what it does is it allows you to rewind time, for example, 30 seconds backwards. So maybe if you've been downed by a zombie or you've done something incorrect, you could be able to rewind time. I don't know, that sounds really overpowered unless you just get a limited use to it. I don't know what this perk is, but it's got something to do with time. The next perk that we have is called Tortoise. I have no idea what this is, but maybe this could be an armor perk. Maybe Stronghold might not be an armor perk and Tortoise could be an armor perk because obviously Tortoises have a shell around you which protects you like armor would. So maybe this could be a replacement to Juggernog instead. The next perk that we have is called Widow. So this is going to be Widow's Wine. So this will allow you to have Widow's Wine grenades and when zombies hit you, it creates a web blast that sort of stuns the zombies and you can chuck your Widow's Wine grenades and stuff like that. It's really overpowered, but it seems like Widow's Wine is going to be returning. Obviously, it won't be Widow's Wine within this new storyline and the Chaos storyline, it'll probably be called something else and it probably won't even be to do with spiders within the new storyline. Now next up, what has been leaked from the files is going to be the grenades that you were able to select within the main menu. So, so now it's going to be changed. So before you start a game, you'll be able to select which starting weapon you start with and you will also be able to set which grenade you spawn in with too. So there are four different grenades that you can select. One is an acid grenade. So I think it's this grenade that we saw within the Voyage of Despair trailer. You're also is able to select a claymore as a grenade. You're also to able to select a wraith fire. I don't really know what that is, to be honest. That could potentially be a molotov that we saw within the trailer once again. I don't really know. Now, next up, we have the specialist weapons that are leaked within the code. So, we already know the specialist weapons for the Chaos Crew. I've already made a whole video talking about these four specialists, but there are going to be four specialists for the Primus slash the Ultimus Crew. This was actually already leaked. I've already made a video about this. However, it has been confirmed since it's been found within the code now. So there is going to be a minigun. There is also going to be Takio's katana. There is going to be a flamethrower. And there is also going to be a Ragnarok DG5. Those are going to be the five different specialist weapons that we have for the Primus crew. You will be able to choose which specialist you spawn in with prior to the game. And uh, you will be able to upgrade these specialists via little quests that you can do when you actually play on the maps. Now within the code, it does also reference Talis and then it says Epic, Legend, Rare, and Ultra. I think these are the new Gobblegum system.
system. However, there's two different ones. One is called Talis, and then we have Elixir Classic, Elixir CMN, Elixir Epic, Elixir Legend, Elixir Rare, Elixir Slot Select. So I think the new Gobblegum slash consumables are going to be called Elixirs, or at least this is just the code name for it, and we're going to have different ranks of them, again, just like Gobblegums. So they're all pretty much going to be the same as the regular Gobblegums, however, they're just going to have a new lore behind it for the Chaos Crew storyline. Yeah, that's pretty much all the leaked information we have so far. I will be covering all the new leaks here on the channel as they do drop. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to yeah. subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest black as well as zombies news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, bye.